Hi everyone! Welcome back to Sashay Away with Barry. I am back on my bathroom floor um, recording a video because I'm trying to be quiet because my boyfriend is sleeping at the other end of the apartment. Um, I am here with my angry orchard hard cider rosé. I've not strayed from my rosé. I'm still drinking it. I'm just drinking it in a beer form now. Why not? It's a little bubbly. Um, it's tasty. It is delicious. I highly recommend it. Um, I won't be continuing with these throughout the whole season, but I'm gonna, I have some in my fridge for now, so I'm gonna drink them. Cheers! Anyway, I'm here to talk to you about the Christmas Queens and about All Stars 4's Meeting the Queens. Um, I'm not gonna delve into a lot of the Christmas Queens. I'm just gonna say that I really loved it. <laughs> that is probably a very unpopular opinion because people always seemed really upset um, that no one got crowned as the Christmas Queen, but I didn't care. Um, once you kind of realized right at the beginning when RuPaul came out singing um, and the Queens kind of backed her up at part of it, you kind of realized it wasn't really a competition, that it was really scripted. They had to plan everything out. Um, they did a lot of um, talking with their their little skits, like Shangela did her sugar cookie thing instead of sugar daddy. Um, Latrice came in and talked about not having chestnuts near her face. So when she kind of got past all of that, it was really just an entertaining holiday show. And I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I did see it out in a bar, so it was a lot more fun with people around. Um, there were some weird moments in it, but you know, that's what it is. Um, all of the dancers, the boy reindeer dancers, and then they were on the stage in those pleather shorts, they were all hot. Um, I don't know if I could pick a favorite, um, because there were so many of them, it was a little overwhelming, <laughs> and they kind of just distracted from the queens for me, because I was like, ooh, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Um, but they were all great. Um, and the mini challenge, um, it was fun. They did a little runway. Um, it was clearly all planned out, because they all knew what they were doing <laughs> with their reindeers. Um, and RuPaul even joined in, which was really fun. Um, Mayhem won. Great. Um, I didn't know that they could pick a winner from that, but it was, I'm always here for it when Mayhem wins. Um, then they did this weird aerobics video. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It was basically a commercial for RuPaul's holiday album. I don't know if you all bought it. I thought the music was terrible. <laughs> Um, my boyfriend keeps listening so it, to it here in the house, so I can't really get away from it. Um, but I thought it was awful. I really did not enjoy the music. But I love Christmas. I love a holiday show. So I enjoyed it regardless of how bad the music was. Um, I did listen to it at work the day that the show was airing, and I knew it was going to be bad. So I was prepared for it, which is all fine. Um, it was great. It was great. Um, but they did this weird 80s. They did 80s looks, and I didn't get it. Um, but it was fine. Um, it was fun to watch. Latrice did the splits, and anytime a big girl like that does splits, I'm here for it. So, work it, girls, work it. Um, and then we had a runway, um, and it was non-denominational holiday, Christmas, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, and we got some great looks. And then to top it all off, RuPaul and Michelle Visage are gonna lip sync for their life. Um, <laughs> it was a joke. I hope you all got the joke and that you're not pissed that there were doubles doing the tricks for them. They were clearly never going to do that. Um, I did find it interesting that Michelle um, stood on the side of the stage and didn't do any, didn't move until her double came in and did tricks for her. Um, so I'm gonna say that she can no longer criticize them because you know what? She didn't do it either. Um, my light just went off, and you noticed the color changed, I hope. Um, I don't know how to turn it back on, but I'm assuming it's because the battery is dead on the light. Um, and that's fine. We will work with what we got. Um, I'm looking, here, I'll just pull back, and then I'm not so red. Oh, look at the color change. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> I'm tripping myself out. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's see if I can go back to normal. There's my color. Oh, nope, it's going to keep changing. Enjoy it. Um, you can decide what color you think I am. Anyway, so Michelle Visage stand on the corner, and I don't know if she just didn't, if she just can't lip sync, um, if she didn't know the song, or if RuPaul said, this is my show, you stand over there and don't do anything like Charlie Hyde's. Um, that is what I'm leaning towards, and I don't know if that's true or not, but that's that. 
Anyway, I'm going to talk about the looks, um, the entrance looks and the runway looks. I have them all on my iPad, so you're going to see me scrolling as the pictures go. Um, first in the run, in the workroom is Trixie Mattel. She is back from being crowned All-Stars 3, um, and we just can't get rid of her. Um, for this show, I think it was anyone who was available and in L.A., so they didn't have to fly anyone out. If you were there, great. We could, we'll put you on the show. You'll get two days of work, you'll get two days of pay, and that's it. Um, she looks cute. She wore pink. I don't, um, great. She doesn't like red or green. She tells us that later. Um, it's cute. Uh, the mouth is cute. The hood is cute. Um, I'm not a Trixie fan. I'm not going to apologize by that, and I don't get her makeup. Um, but she looks cute in this. It's very cute. Um, Latrice Royale comes in, and she is dressed as Mrs. Claus, kind of. Um, I love that she's wearing a short, 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 short dress that you can see her panties in. Um, she usually is fully covered in a gown, so I love that this is a sequins little Santa suit. The white hair is amazing. Again, she has her bag of chestnuts because she needs to tell that joke. Um, but she looks great. Um, her boots are weird, but, you know, she's never been a, a, a good queen with boots. <laughs> um, Eureka is back again. Yes, Miss Eureka O'Hara, but it just says Eureka. I'm looking at this and it just says Eureka, so maybe she dropped O'Hara for, for real this time. Um, and I actually really, and I'm not a Yukri fan, you all know that, I don't like her, um, but this dress is super cute. I would totally wear this, <laughs> um, to a holiday party. Um, it is a cute little cocktail dress, it is short, she is showing all kinds of legs, but these shoulder things that she's got are fantastic. Um, I like her hair up, she's not wearing a loaf, thank God, um, so I really, really, really like what Eureka's wearing. Next is Miss Mayhem Miller, and you know I adore Miss Mayhem. Uh, she is in a Santa gown. Uh, Latrice wore the short, short version. Uh, Mayhem is to the floor. She's got exceptional hair. The body is everything. She is cinched. She is padded. She is fierce. Oh my God, I love Mayhem. Um, everything about her is right with this outfit. Um, and the gown is just touching the floor. It is the perfect length. It is tailored to her body. That's how you do drag. Um, so neek, she back from season two, um, and officially, Gia Gunn, um, so neek is now the first trans woman on the show. So it wasn't a competition, she's still the first trans woman, um, and by that, I mean, we all know Peppermint was on the show, she was openly trans, but she hadn't started transitioning when she, when she started filming the show. So neek has far as I know, fully transitioned. Um, she definitely has boobs. And damn, her body looks good. Oh my God, she looks so good. The wig is perfect. This little cute little, I hate a jumpsuit. I mean, a bodysuit. Um, this is not a bodysuit. This is sexy. Um, it is sequins. It is fur. It is gloves up to her armpits and thigh-high boots. Girl looks amazing. Um, yeah, she, coming back, she really wowed me. I was so impressed with Sonique, and I feel like we might see her on All Stars 5 now, um, because she was a big hit. Kim Chi, another favorite of mine. Um, I really like Kim Chi. She is a look queen. She doesn't do much else, <laughs> and that is fine. Sorry, I'm gonna take a drink. Um, but her looks are worth it. She totally did out this little Victorian thing. I feel like the dress is short, but I don't know if it's if that's part of the look. Um, it could have been longer, but it looks cute short as well. It's all gold. She's got this beautiful headpiece, um, the crown on, and she looks great. She looks great. Miss Jasmine Masters. This is your prequel to her coming back to All Stars 4. Um, and like I said, I think they said, who's in town and can do this show? Jasmine was there for All Stars. She's here for the Christmas show. Um, she comes in... <laughs> I actually really liked her dress. Um, a lot of people said it's not Christmas. I don't care. She looks amazing in this dress. Um, her wig is fine. The fur shrug stole thing she had was fine. But this dress, showing off her titties and her, her ass and her thighs and everything, um, is gorgeous. It is a glittered cage to the floor, and I live for it. Um, way to go, Jasmine Masters. You did not disappoint me. I'm excited to see you on All Stars now, and I hope they keep you around for a while. And finally, into the workroom is Shangela. She back again. Four. Fourth time. Um, she's gonna hold the record with 19, I think, appearances on Drag Race. 
Um, but this little Christmas tree dress is adorable. It lights up. She got a cape thing. I don't know if it's really a cape, but it's a it's a thing. Um, yeah, I guess it's a cape. Um, it looks different in both the two pictures that I have, so it's hard to say. One looks almost transparent, and the other one looks like a tree skirt. Um, but it's cute. Um, her hair is good. She looks good. She always looks good. Um, Shangela's a big, I'm a big fan of Shangela. I'm a fan of Shangela. Um, and if you ever want to call my cell phone, you can hear her. She does my outgoing message and it is everything. I will never delete it. It's going to be there forever. I love Shangela. Um, so those are the entrance looks. I thought they were all actually really good. Um, and I feel like it was planned out that way. <laughs> because <laughs> it's not a competition. It is just a showcase for these ladies. Um, but on the runway, we're doing our non-denominational Christmas ex extravaganza. Um, and Eureka comes out as the 1996 Barbie, Christmas Barbie. And it's really good. <laughs> Again, I don't like Eureka. Um, but she looks good in this. The, I love that her she's wearing a long wig. Um, her face is fine. Her eye makeup is, is weird to me, but it's fine. Um, I think she's wearing green contacts, which I don't know why she, maybe Barbie had green eyes in this. Um, but I love her headpiece. I love her little muff. I love the full skirt. Um, I, this, I've seen her wear hoops before and it didn't work for her. This works for her. It was, a, it was just a tiny bit short when she walked, but in this picture where she's standing there, maybe she took her shoes off. Um, it's hitting the floor. So it looks good like this. So I like it. And I just closed it out. Ah, now Sonique. Sonique comes out in pants. Um, a little pantsuit, and she's a gingerbread man. She says, tells us that it's Moschino. Um, so she's getting the designer looks, and that is good for her. She looks just like Madonna, which is what she did her plastic surgery to look like. She got a hair like Madonna. She got a body like Madonna. Madonna would wear this outfit um, in a heartbeat. It is so cute. People hated it. I don't know why, because I think it is amazing. It's so interesting to, to do. My only criticism in this picture, I didn't notice it on the show, but in this picture, the pants are a little long. Um, they're kind of hanging, they're bagging at the floor a little bit. So maybe, I don't know, maybe she took her shoes off too. Um, maybe they all took their shoes off for the photos, but it's making her pants poop around the hand, around the ankles. Um, but I love this gingerbread look. I think it's so smart and so cute. And she, again, looks amazing. Um, Latrice Royale, she must have had like a huge sale on red sequins because she's wearing it again. <laughs> she wore it in her entrance look in the Santa suit and she's wearing it again here. This time it's red and gold um, and it is a, cape, a hood. She had a cape that she had on over the hood and then pulled it off as a cape. Um, and it looks great on her. She looks really cute. Um, again, I would wear this uh, as a big girl myself. I would wear this. It is adorable. Um, her hair is cute. Um, usually she has really gigantic hair, and this is very subtle. Um, and kind of frames her face perfectly. Um, she looks good. I, um, I like her gold shoe, too. Trixie Mattel. Um, she doesn't like red and green, as we talked about before. She wore pink on the way in. And now she's wearing white, because she is an angel. A little snow angel. And I think this is a cute, cute idea. Um, I really like this look. And the idea of it, I don't like the dress because um, it looks like a robe to me. <laughs> and that is my only critique of it. I think it's really, really cute. Um, I like her scepter. I like her wings. I love that she's wearing earmuffs. <laughs> um, again, I don't like her makeup, but that is just my personal taste. Um, but oh, the overall look is great. Um, I just wish it wasn't a bathrobe. Oh, God, Mayhem Miller. She is everything <laughs> on this show. Um, she came out as Krampus, um, and if you follow her Instagram or anything, she did it again at, I think, Mickey's or the Abbey, one of them, and she called it Krampussy, and I live for that. Um, this look is flawless, flawless down to the hoof heels. Um, she came out in a, a Christmas robe and then took it off, and it's a bodysuit, and I don't care that it's a bodysuit because there is so much going on with her makeup and the horns and the shoulders and the sequins and the tights that are crystalled. Oh my God, she she did everything for this. Um, and then the hoof shoes just took it over the edge. She is the clear winner of this runway and that's all I have to say. You can hate it if you want. Look up Krampus, it's Mayhem Miller right there. Jasmine Masters. Oh, she got something to say with this outfit. <laughs> I hope you have all listened to her interview or read her interview or went to her Insta story 
or found, go find it on the internet because it is a hoot. Um, I actually don't mind her outfit. It looks weird because she has organza wrapped around her head and a bow. Um, but I actually like the gold outfit. Um, the boots I'm not a huge fan of, but they, they kind of work for her. Um, and I don't even mind the organza wrapped around her head. Um, and if you listen to her story, she will tell you that she was sweating really badly. And so her makeup started, was sweating off and she didn't have time to put it back on. So she just slapped that over her face. Um, and then she'll also tell you later that she didn't know the words to her song either. So she did that. Um, and I props to you, girl. Um, it's not the best look, but it is Jasmine Masters through and through. Um, also in that, you will find out that she's not a fan of Shangela. She got some kind of beef with Shangela. Apparently Shangela was late every day of taping. And then they gave her an extra 45 minutes to get ready from between everyone else. Um, and so the reason there is no uh, confessionals with Jasmine is because she left. She just left the show. <laughs> and so she didn't tape any. Sorry, you didn't get any of her one-liners because that is why she left because of Shangela. Cheers. Next up is Miss Kim G. And she is the Christmas present. Um, I, lo I love any look that Kimchi does, really. Um, but this is phenomenal. She is a giant present. She has like a tree skirt on as her blouse. And then her hair is the Christmas tree with a big star on top of it. Everything. Everything Kimchi. You do it all right. She got bows around her shoes. She got presents all over her. She got presents on her shoulders. She got presents on her body. She got presents on the presents. I love it. I live for it. It's so good. It's so, so good. Um, and quintessential kimchi. That's the way she does it. And last, of course, is Shangela, because apparently she's late. Um, so she had to go last. Um, she did a throwback to her frostula, which we all kind of knew was going to happen, did we not? That's what she does. She does frostula. Um, but this gown is gorgeous. It looks everything that it should. It is poofy in the right places. It is fluffy with the little feathers to make it look like snowflakes. It's got the buttons down the front. She got a little mask uh, for her nose and mouth. And the top hat is killing it. Uh, that top hat is perfectly placed. It is perfectly stoned. And just it's, every, it's great. She did a great, great job redeeming her snowman. Um, so as you can tell, I enjoyed the show. <laughs> Again, it, it's what you want out of it. Um, and if once you realize it's not really a competition, no one's going to win, they all there to have fun, it's great. It's fun. It's a good time. That's all it is. That's all you need. Um, but let's move on to All Stars. Um, all Stars starts this week. I hope you're all ready. There are 10 ladies involved. Um, and I like most of them. Um, it was... Oh, I have to pause. Sorry, I have to stop and, and redo this. I'll be back. And she's back. Sorry, everyone. I had to go get this piece of paper that I forgot about because I challenged um, 30 of my friends to rank all of the All-Star Girls in what order they think they will finish um, and to do an average. And then we're going to talk about them in the order that, we, that they all think um, they're going to place. However, only nine people responded. Nine. Um, so I want to shout them all out. Jennifer Connors, David Hubby, Will Scotton. Me. <laughs> um, Roger Calderon, Juan Davalos, Michael Gray... I messed your name up. I spelled your name wrong on here, and I know it's not. It's Michael Grehan, uh, Dennis Kong, and Lindsay Booth. Thank you all for, for playing along with me and humoring me. Um, I will say that I stole this from a podcast that I listened to. Um, it was... It's on Block Talk. Um, you can go listen to that if you want to, but he did it with two queens, and I was like, that's a cute idea. I'm going to steal it. Um, and I did. So I have nine, nine people participated. They ranked them all how they thought placing one through ten. Um, one obviously winning, ten being first out. And um, then I averaged them out and we have a lineup. Uh, there was one tie, um, but I ranked it in the order then. I based it on um, who got the higher rankings. And one of them, someone placed them first and the other one didn't get any first places. So that's the way it goes. Um, they get, that's where they will be. They will be the high, the higher ranking. Um, and we're going to start with 10th place. We're going to talk about her look. And in 10th place, according to all of these people, and I don't agree with it, is Jasmine Masters. 
Poor thing. I don't know why people don't like her. I think she is so entertaining. However, in this promo, her promo look is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, but she looks like Monique Hart. <laughs> don't call me racist. It is not a black thing. Um, she looks like Monique Hart. Um, go look at the picture yourself. It, it's hard. Not even her body. And I, it's her face. Her face looks like Monique Hart. Um, but I love Jasmine Masters. I hope she goes all the... Uh, not all the way. I hope she stays around for at least half of the show. Um, let me see how it was ranked. So everyone ranked her last. Except for three people. They gave her eighth place. I was one of those. I gave her eighth place. Um, but yeah, everyone else ranked her last. And I don't get it. But that's fine. I don't think she's going to go home that early because she's too enjoyable. She makes good television. Um, so then coming in ninth place is Miss Gia Gunn. Um, and this one was pretty unanimous. Everyone ranked her ninth except for someone ranked her eighth and someone ranked her tenth. Um, so that is a very solid nine. Um, in her promo look, she looks cute. Um, and that is what I think she goes for. Um, her face looks great. Her hair looks good. Is that her real hair? Because it's the only hair she kind of wears now. Um, I don't know, but she looks good. The, I mean, it's a simple corset that she's wearing with a jacket and a fur, a uh, fur stole, a stole. So it's cute, but it's not great. It's a little, little simple. Um, but we have her coming in ninth place. Um, are we excited to see her? I'm not. Um, she's another trans girl, and I'm excited that that's happening. Um, but I wouldn't have put her on an all-star season. And I hope that they didn't put her on there just because she's trans. Um, I hope they put her on there because she has grown as a queen. And prove me wrong. That's all I'm going to say. Prove me wrong, Jasmine Masters. Um, I will say I'm not the one who ranked her last. <laughs> um, and I won't call out the people that did. Oh, yeah, I will. Juan ranked her last. And Michael ranked her eighth. Um, and that is Gia Gunn. Coming in eighth place, according to our rankings, is, oh, Miss Pheromone. Um, I hate her promo look. <laughs> it does nothing. For, she's a, a sick body. It is so good. Um, and if I had a body like that, maybe I would wear this too. Um, but it I don't like it. It's very Vegas. I know she moved to LA, but this is still her Vegas roots, and maybe she still lived in Vegas when this was taping, but the thing I like most about it is her translucent cape um, and her wig. Her wig is good, uh, but the, the bejeweled bra, all the beading, that stupid skirt, uh, <laughs> I don't like it. Anyway, she came in eighth, and... Her rankings were kind of all over. They start at seventh place and go all the way to ninth place. So seventh, ninth, that's why she ended up in eighth. Um, the two people that gave her seven, one of them was me. Um, and the other one is Jen. Um, a bunch of people placed her in ninth place. Um, so Pheromone, prove us wrong, girl. Um, she does have her little beef with Valentina, which they said is fixed, but I think that's why she's there. Um, I think she has no chance of winning. Sorry. In sixth place, I'm sorry, that was, set, that was, that was eighth. Sorry, eighth place. Did I say eighth? Eighth place. In seventh place is Monique Hart. <laughs> I have been telling everyone since All Stars was announced, since the cast was announced, Monique is going home first. I know that is a very unpopular opinion because people love her. She annoys the crap out of me. <laughs> um, and I, I don't know why I should like her. Um, her promo look is a mess. It's a mess to me. And I know people like it, but it is just a mess. I don't get it. I know that she likes to have faces on her. I'm just, sorry, I keep looking at the picture trying to find something redeeming about it. Um, the best thing I can say is her hair is good. She has good hair. I don't like the one pant leg. I don't like the big face. I don't, ugh, I just don't like it. Anyway, I ranked her last. Um, and because I've been telling everyone she's going home first, 
Um, but she got seventh. Um, and that is mainly because someone placed her third. Um, way to go, Lindsay. You picked her third. And I know you told me you picked them in the order that you like them. Um, and apparently you like uh, Monique. I do not. Um, but you really skewed her up because of that. Um, a lot of people placed her seventh. A couple people placed her sixth. And a couple people placed her eighth. Again, I put her last because I think she's going home first. Um, but time will... We only have two days to find out. So we'll know very, very soon. Coming in sixth place is Monet Exchange, Monet Exchange, Monet Exchange. Um, and her look, promo look, is my favorite. She looks so good in this picture. It is so, the hair is right. That cape with those shoulders. I mean, she's wearing a bodysuit, but she makes it look like fashion. It is so good and her body is cinched and those hips are everything. Ugh, she looks so good, so good. Um, and so, she came in sixth, and I think that's low. I'm not sure that's right. Um, although I do feel like anyone from six to one could win the show, and I hope that someone surprises us, um, and I hope it's Monet, um, because I want her to do really, 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 really well. Um, Lindsay placed her first. Good job, Lindsay. Um, I have her coming in fourth. So I'm going to tell you what mine are every time, because I feel like I should. Um, I have her coming in fourth. Um, and I would be very, very happy with that. Um, but she's kind of all over the place. Most people placed her fifth. Um, a couple seventh. Why did she get so low? Oh, well. Anyway, she's sixth on our list. Um, but I expect big things from her. I expect her to win Snatch Game if she's still around for it, and I feel like she will be. Um, and I hope she picks someone fun to do, because Maya Angelou was so genius, and she probably should have won, even though she didn't. Um... But she, I think she won, and she needs to win a challenge. She never won a challenge on this race. Um, and I can't wait to see her lip sync again and not do a death drop again. But she came in sixth with us. In fifth place is Naomi Smalls. Um, and I think this is a low rating for her. Her promo look is cute. <laughs> There's nothing special about her dress. It's a cute dress. Um, but it shows off her legs, which are uh, amazing. Um, her new lips, not so amazing. They are creepy. And I hope that maybe she had just gotten them done for this promo shot. Um, because they are out of control. They are so big. They're too big for her face. Um, when she doesn't wear makeup, it's even worse. Because it looks like it takes up her whole face. And so um, I want her to do really well. But I want her lips to shrink a little. She's got too many, too much injections going on. Um, so I placed Miss Naomi third. Um, and I stand tr true to that. I think, um, I think she'll be top three. I really do. Um, we have her in fifth place here. And let's see why that is. Um, because Michael, who hates her, gave her seventh place. At least he didn't make her go home first. But he does not like her. He calls her Naomi Smells. And that bothers me. Um, but that's that. Um, the highest ranking she got was a two from Dennis. Good job, Dennis. Um, and then the rest are kind of all over the place. Mostly they are, she got, the most she got are, are threes, actually. So, and that's what I said, third place. Naomi, third place. Um, next up, the one and only Valentina. Um, I know that's not her name. It's Valentina, but she's embraced the villain, and she's going to be the villain. Um... Her promo look, this hair is everything. Her look is, it's fine. It's a little nothing. <laughs> um, I know people raved about it and think it's fantastic. I'm, I'm not a fan of it, but I'm also not a fan of hers. Um, and that's the way it is. Um, but, I mean, her face and her hair look fantastic. In our little thing, she got, she's going to be fourth place. Where did I put her? I put her fifth. So it was close. Um, see, I, even though I don't like her, I know she's going to do well. Um, and the, she got bumped up because a lot of people do like her. That's not true. I was going to say a lot do, but only two people put her in second place. Um, and that is as high as she got. She didn't get any first place. Oh, this is the one that was a tie. Um, and she got bumped down because no one ranked her one. And the person that's ahead of her in third place got ranked as a one. Um, but, yeah, they're around all threes, fours, fives. Um... There are, there's a six as well. 
Um, I ranked her fifth. She came in fourth. Good job. Um, she'll be good television. That's all I'm going to say. So Valentina, fourth place. In third place, just narrowly beating out Valentina, is Trinity the Tuck. Not Trinity Taylor, Trinity the Tuck. She changed her name. She wants you to know that, and that's what happened. Um, so we have her in third place. I have her in sixth place because I can't stand her. <laughs> um, I am not a fan of her drag. I am not a fan of her attitude. I am not a fan of her. Um, and so I put her in sixth place. I'm going to be proved wrong on this one, I think, unless people just hate her and want to send her home. Her promo look is gorgeous, um, other than her face, because her face is so weird to me because of all the surgery that she's had. Um, but this dress is cute. The hair is cute. Um, her makeup is fine. It's just her face that drives me crazy. Um, yeah, I, I put her in six. I'd probably put her, I was the lowest one for her. Um, she did get a ranked first um, by Jen, and that is what bumped her above Valentina. Um, everyone else did her like threes and fours, so right around third place is where she landed. Third place. Um, so that leaves our top two, and it is one and only Latrilla. Who's number one? Who's number two? Well, number one is Latrice. I mean, sorry, number two. <laughs> in my mind, number one is Latrice. But on the survey, Latrice is number two. She came in second, um, and good for her. This look of hers for her promo <laughs> is so bad. Um, I talked about it before. She wears, she likes to wear a full gown. Um, she got her legs sticking out, at least in this one. But the, the way, and the dress is probably actually really cute. Um, because I like the sleeves and I like the top of it. I, the bottom of it is just weird. And I think it's just the way that she's standing. I don't think she needs the hat. Um, I like her hair with a little chignon on the side. Chignon on the side. Um, <laughs> The pose is just so weird. Um, they did her wrong taking this photo like this. <laughs> um, so I don't like her picture, um, but I love her. I placed her first because I want her to win. Um, I am not alone. Uh, Michael and David also placed her first, so way to go. Um, low on the totem pole, she got two sixes, and that is why she came in second and not first. Um, and those were from Jen and Will, and I don't know why you hating on this girl so much. Why you hate fat girls? That's what I'm going to say to you. Shame you. I'm going to shame you on camera. You hate fat girls. Um, they both gave her sixth place. That is so low. I can't even deal with it. If she comes in sixth place, I will be angry. Um, unless they do, uh, resurrection and she comes back. <laughs> That's the only way I'll be happy if she gets sixth place. Um, yeah. Um, so she's in second, according to our little ranking. And that leaves Manila Luzon coming in first. Um, and I have no problem with this. Um, I actually have her second. Um, so I had them swapped. Um, but I am in the minority. Um, not really. One, two, three, four. Four people put her second. And one, two, three, four people put her first. And one person, Miss Lindsay Booth, put her seventh. I'm going to say that you have never seen Manila on the show, and that's why you don't, you ranked her so low. <laughs> um, uh, cause she's not going to be seventh, unless people really hate her. <laughs> um, yeah, she's either going to be first or second, and that is truly how I feel. Um, I ranked her second, she came in first, Lindsay gave her seventh. Seventh, I'm just going to keep saying it, Lindsay. Lindsay gave her seventh. Um, her promo look is super cute. Um, I love the paint drip. I love it in the necklace. I love it on the dress. I wish it was a little longer on the dress because one side is really short and you can see the nude, um, body underneath, the nude suit underneath. The, what am I trying to say? The nude dress underneath it on the one side and you can't see it on the other side. Um, I like the train. I like the sleeve. Yeah, it's just really, really good. Um, she put her chopsticks in her hair as her signature thing. She got her white streak. She did everything right. Um, so if she comes in first, great. If she comes in second, great. If she comes in anything lower than that, I think that it's, there's something wrong with the system, but that could be the way it is as well. Um, anyway, I'm very excited for All Stars 4. Um, I think it's a great cast. I think it's going to be a great season. There's going to be lots of twists. Um, if you haven't already, the first 14 minutes are out. You can see it on YouTube. Um, I think VH1 put it out. I think that's whose page it's on, but you could just Google it and find it. There is also um, 
a little panel interview with Carson Kressley that's on YouTube. I watched that this morning. It was uh, very telling of some things <laughs> when they ask questions. Um, so you can go watch that as well. And if not, I will see you back here after the first episode of All Stars this Friday, this Friday night. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you enjoyed this little thing. You can always like and subscribe and share this video with everyone you know. The more people we get, the better it is. Um, I want to shout out to all my subscribers. We are over 200 subscribers. Not so bad, not so bad. Um, so I shout you all out. Um, leave a comment. I will respond to it. Don't be nasty to me. Um, if you are nasty, I just delete them. Sometimes I even block you. Uh, one time I even reported someone. Uh, so watch out. <laughs> um, I do see all the comments. Um, I do read them all. I don't respond to them all. Um, usually I will just like them if I agree with it. If I don't, I won't do anything, but I do read it. Um, and if it's nasty, again, I will delete it or report you. So watch what you do. Um, you can also find me on social medias. I am the real Barry Brown. That's T H E R E A L B A R R Y B R O W N on Instagram. Um, that is because Barry Brown was taken. Um, at some point, I may actually do a sachet with, with with Barry Instagram, but that sounds like a lot of work, um, and I'm it's hard enough for me to get these videos out. Um, but that's there. Um, I'm also Barry Brown on Facebook, um, and I think if you do the whole Facebook thing and do the slash bhbrown13, you will find me. Um, I also have a Facebook page called RuPaul's Drag Race Sashay Away with Barry, um, where I post a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, so you can like that. Um, I don't know if you have to actually subscribe to it, but I think you can just like it and you'll get notifications when I post something or they'll just show up in your feed on Facebook. Um, that, I'm on Twitter as well, bhbrown13, b-h-b-r-o-w-n-1-3. Um, I don't really post on Twitter, um, but you're welcome to follow me there. Um, if you see anything, it's going to be drag-related, pretty much. Um, and it's usually just these videos that I post, uh, unless I retweet someone, which I don't really do very often. But you never know. Um, Instagram is usually where I find where I post everything, so that's the best one to follow. Um, you can see all the gay things I do in the world. Um, and that's all I have for today. Again, I'm excited for All Stars 4. It's going to be a good season. Please don't prove me wrong. And I will talk to you again this weekend. Bye!